New tonight, a river rescue is the latest example of how dangerous it is to cross into the U.S. illegally. Border Patrol tells us smugglers pack as many people as possible onto rubber rafts to move them quickly across the river. Channel 5's Christian von Pricing reports a recent situation nearly turned deadly. He joins us live in our studio with more. Christian. Yeah, Leslie, last night Border Patrol rescued 11 people from the river near Peñitas. On the raft, 13 people, including the smugglers. The boat overturned. Border Patrol says river rescues are up, and this is kind of scenario is common. Tonight, while many people sleep, Border Patrol agents will be out on the water. It's a whole different dynamic. Often it's pitch black. You got to pay attention a little bit more. Last night, the darkness was the one thing in sight for 11 people crossing the border illegally. Their boat flipped over. The first thing I saw was, you know, mothers holding kids. This agent was on the Border Patrol riverboat. He saw four adults, seven children in the water struggling to stay afloat, uh, the parents holding them up. Parents literally holding their kids above their heads. What carried these immigrants is made for four people. This is the same model they used last night. We fit six adults on here. It's already getting crowded. Add seven more children and this boat becomes unstable. Border Patrol says smugglers try to fit as many as they possibly can. This is what it looks like. Photos from Border Patrol showing rafts to capacity. Last night, the two smugglers on board were the only ones wearing life jackets. There's really no regard for the individuals that they're smuggling. The agents last night threw in rings, ropes, life jackets. They know how dangerous the river really is. A lot of debris underneath. The currents are actually, you know, pretty strong. They rescued everyone in the water. The seven children, a one-year-old, an infant, I made contact with two little boys, maybe eight and five, and they went down several times. Um, I don't think they would have lasted much longer, to be honest with you. All of it just in time on a pitch black night in the middle of the water. Border Patrol says in this case, the raft we showed you was tethered to a car on the Mexican side. They said the car pulled away to retrieve the raft and threw everybody off. Border Patrol says these kinds of rescues are on the rise. In the Channel 5 News Studio, Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News at 10.